<clears throat> I just want to start off by saying that I am a piece of work. And you guys will find out why. Um, but for now, I am, am going to redo this video. I just did the video for you guys, but it ended up being 30 minutes long. So then I decided to redo it, but in parts. So that's dedication, you know, because I'm trying to make this easy for y'all and for myself. Okay, um, I'm going to start with saying this is my two and a half year lock update. Um, my locks turned two and a half years old on the 23rd of April, and today is the 28th. So yes, I am late, but I've been busy, and you know the drill. But I'm here now, and I'm going to jump right in, okay? Um, it's going to be into three separate parts. All right, I'm going to have this first video. Um, and I'm going to have a few questions that's relative to each other in this video. I'm going to have a second video with questions that's relative in that, and then the third with questions and answers as relevant to that because I have quite a few questions that I received for this update and I wanted to make sure that I got everybody covered. My first question and my most asked question is how many locks do I have? Okay. I currently have 52 locks made out of 54 locks because I just combined these two together. So they're going to grow now as one and I am not going to cut them. I have another one just like it on the opposite side in the back corner right here. These have been combined a lot longer. That's why you see them shorter for the two, you know, because they've already combined. And you can see that this is one whole lock now together. Okay. Um, VMTs ask me how many locks I have. Um, blessed underscore locks on Instagram asked me how many locks do I have and she also asked what's my lock regimen that answer is going to be on the third video that I create for y'all okay um, and then Juan sorry Josh Sanchez asked me how many um, locks I have don't judge me because I called you Juan because I wasn't trying to be funny that's, that's just what came I think the Sanchez just kind of made me want to say Juan. That is so rude. I am sorry. But you know, it's all love, Josh. Okay? Not bad. But I have 52 now because I combined. Okay? All right. So that's out of the um out of the way. Um, I mean, I get that question like every day. Like, I'm not lying. In some way, shape, or form, or on some site, somewhere, some picture, somewhere, somebody is tagging me and asking me that. Um, and I even get people who say, no, it don't look like that. It look like you got way more. I really don't. I only have 54. And it's crazy because I started off with 52, and I'm now going back to 52. See how the, how the universe works? It was meant. 52. It is what it is. All right. My next question from... God King Leo on Instagram, and that's spelled G A W D K E E N N G L I O L F. I don't know how you came up with that, but I mean, I would like to know the the proper um, pronunciation because I know I didn't do it right. But he asked me, um, "How do you get them thicker?" Um, I I started with thick locks. I really don't know the answer to how. Would someone, okay, let me put it this way. The lesser locks you have, the thicker they will be. Of course, if you have six locks on your head, they're going to be huge. Because that's all that hair growing into each individual six lock. If you have 20 locks, they're pretty. that's a pretty decent size. Because now you have to think of all the hair you have. 
into each individual 20 locks. If you have 50 locks, similar to me. And it also depends on how much hair you have. I have really thick hair. So that's why I went and made the choice to have thick locks because I know if I would have went smaller, I it, it would have been too much for me. And it would have made me regret it because I, I've always been associated with thick hair, even since I was a little kid. If you hear snoring, it's my dog. I'm sorry. Um, you know what I'm saying? Even when I was a little girl going in and get my hair done, the hairdressers and stuff, I was always, my hair was always um, described as thick, 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 everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Growing up. And it is, it was mandatory, put it that way, that I had thick locks, okay? For me, for my own personal, what I wanted to do with them and what I wanted to have them do. So the the lesser, the thicker, to answer that question. All right? Mm -hmm. Sorry, y'all. Just trying to make sure, like I said, I get everybody covered. That first video was a doozy. Okay, the real stasis, I'm assuming this is on YouTube. Okay. Um, they ask, how do I get my skinny freeform locks thick like this? Please help. Um, your best option would be to combine them, of course. I don't know where you are in your stage of locks. My advice, if you are in the early stages, would be to go ahead and to combine them ASAP because the the sooner the better. I mean, I mean, if you go a long time and now they're really long and you're trying to combine, you have to think about all of that long hair that is now all the long locks that are now trying to combine with each other. Um, and me personally, you've seen how I combine. I just go this easy route. Just, you know, I'll show you in another video how I did this. But, um, you know, I just put one through the other and then kept it moving. And then I'm going to leave the extra on. Like, I'm not going to cut this off. I like it like this. <clears throat> so, but what I have seen people do is combine it where they take um, two, three, or however many you have. And just go down and twist. All right. And then what my boyfriend did personally, he, once he got to his end, he knotted them together. You know what I'm saying? So he just took that, the two locks, knotted it up. Some were three, some were four locks he twisted together. That process took him, his hair is long. His um, dreads are like 14 years old. So for them to actually start to even look like they were merging together took almost like a year. You just got to stick with it. But the roots, of course, started growing out together. His roots have grown out now thick, some some thicker than mine. So it just really depends on what you're trying to do, where you're trying to get as to the method you choose to go. I personally can't give you the correct answer because that's on personal preference and how your hair type is and a lot of different things. All right. Okay, so that's good. You know what I'm saying? I think I got that knocked out. This is probably the shortest video right here. And um, yeah, so stay tuned for the next one. Um, I'm going to have another video on... I'm just... I, I do tattoos. I'm not... Um, notes and like keeping stuff, organizing stuff. I'm, I'm not good at stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? I just... I draw and um, so the next video is going to be on questions referring to frizz, married locks and interlocking. So that's where I will answer the question on how, how I did that. I'll actually show you how I did it. Okay. Peace out.